Can a nine-year-old surpass the limits of what's deemed possible merely through the force of his imagination? This story reveals how a young boy's intense wish for a dog led him to win a contest, defying all odds and demonstrating that age is irrelevant when it comes to the principle of assumption. This tale stands as a source of motivation for all. Let me recount a significant experience that occurred one afternoon while I was consulting with a client, an energetic grandmother and entrepreneur from New York, who brought along her nine-year-old grandson from Pennsylvania. As we discussed her inquiries and I explained the law of assumption, detailing how one can materialize their desires, the young boy, who appeared to be distracted by a toy truck, was quietly absorbing every word. When I shared a story about a soldier who visualized himself at home to ease into sleep in his barracks, the boy became noticeably intrigued. Upon their departure, he excitedly proclaimed, I know what I want and I've figured out how to get it. Intrigued, I inquired about his wish. He expressed a determined wish to get a puppy, brushing aside his grandmother's reminder about his parents' firm rule against having a dog in the house due to his age and his father's dislike for dogs. Nonetheless, the boy's resolve was firm. He confidently stated, What I need to do is imagine, every night before going to sleep, that I already have the dog and we are taking walks together, countering his grandmother's caution with, But grandma, that contradicts what Mr. Neville taught. It's not up to you. I can have a dog. After six weeks, the grandmother recounted an astonishing development. The boy had applied everything he learned about manifesting a desire. His belief was so potent that he vividly pictured having a dog by his side each night, feeling its coat and envisioning their time together. Then, something incredible happened. A local newspaper, during a week dedicated to promoting animal welfare, announced an essay contest on the joys of dog ownership. The competition, which was open to students from all local schools, was won by the boy who had confidently declared his intention in my office weeks before. He was awarded a collie puppy at a ceremony that received significant newspaper coverage. The grandmother pointed out that if she had simply given him money to buy a dog, his parents would have refused, preferring to save the money instead. However, the way he acquired the dog, by winning the contest and receiving public recognition, made his parents more receptive, leading to an unexpected outcome, they agreed to let him keep the dog. The grandmother highlighted that the boy had specifically desired a collie, and that's exactly what he received. This instance is a powerful demonstration of the strength of desire. This account was brought to my attention at the end of a lecture, shared by an aunt during a Q&A segment. A regular attendee of my lectures and sessions, she wanted to showcase how the law of assumption had worked in her life. She told me about her niece, distressed because her husband, an Air Force officer stationed in Atlantic City, had been deployed to Europe. Burdened with sorrow, the niece deeply wished for her husband's transfer to Florida, a place they both cherished. The aunt immediately recommended employing the law of assumption, visualizing themselves in Florida, feeling the ocean breeze and the sand under their feet. Astonishingly, within two days, the husband received a reassignment to Florida as an instructor, and within a week, his wife was on a train to join him. Although the aunt participated in the visualization, it was the niece's intense desire that drove the result. The third story highlights the prompt efficacy of the law of assumption. A well-connected lady sought my advice, concerned about her inability to lease her city apartment, which was crucial for sustaining her estates and planning her summer at her country house. Despite engaging leading agents, there was no interest in the apartment. I suggested she visualize the apartment as already leased and immerse herself in the feeling of being at her country house, behaving as if the rental agreement was already in place. Just two days after our insightful conversation, she contacted me from her country home, overflowing with joy, to report that following a night dedicated to visualizing her life at the country estate, a perfect tenant had emerged the next day, ready to move into her city apartment immediately. Thus. I urge you to follow in the footsteps of the young boy from our first story, who, upon discovering the law of assumption, immediately identified his wishes and the means to achieve them. Neville Goddard's teachings on the law of assumption are not just a technique for realizing one's desires but also represent a philosophical approach to life that transcends age, time, and space.
This principle is vividly illustrated in the stories I've recounted, highlighting individuals from different walks of life who have successfully manifested their deepest desires by firmly believing in the power of their imagination and assumptions. Reflect on the story of the young boy, who was determined to get a puppy. Despite the obstacles set by his family, his unwavering belief and consistent practice of visualization attracted the necessary circumstances to fulfill his dream. This example not only validates the effectiveness of the law of assumption but also emphasizes the importance of perseverance and faith in oneself. The tale of the boy and his collie puppy serves as a compelling example of how, with resolute imagination, one can overcome any perceived limitations. Similarly, the account of the woman attempting to rent her apartment reminds us that the answers to our problems often reside within. By actively engaging in assumption and visualization, she aligned her reality with her deepest wish, demonstrating that our external situations reflect our internal state. This story further underscores the importance of detail and visualization, by imagining not only the outcome but also the sensory experiences that accompany it, we enhance the manifestation of our desires. Beyond these inspiring stories, it's crucial to recognize the impact of our environment and social interactions on the manifestation process. In the story of the boy and his puppy, the community's initiative in organizing the essay contest that led to the boy achieving his dream plays a crucial role. This highlights that while we work internally to manifest our desires, the universe collaborates externally, through the people and events around us, to assist in realizing our goals. Building on these narratives, the importance of creating an atmosphere that encourages dreaming and positive assumptions becomes clear. Introducing the law of assumption and similar concepts from an early age can empower individuals to use their imagination positively and to believe in the feasibility of their dreams, regardless of current circumstances. Furthermore, the role of gratitude in the assumption process is paramount. Gratitude not only elevates our vibrational energy to match that of our desires but also opens us to the universe's gifts and opportunities. Therefore, fostering a sense of thankfulness can accelerate the manifestation process, transforming our reality in ways beyond our imagination. Each narrative sheds light on the law of assumptions universal and straightforward nature. No special tools or elaborate rituals are needed, faith, imagination, and resolve are all that's required. These stories invite us to explore the limitless potential of our minds and to realize that, irrespective of age or situation, we have the power to shape the life of our dreams. Therefore, like the boy in our opening story, I encourage you to consider, what do I truly want, and how can I apply the law of assumption to achieve it? Remember, within the realms of imagination and belief, there are no limits to what we can achieve.